Yo, 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 what is going on, guys? It is your boy Optic Scumpy bringing you another Black Ops 2 gameplay video commentary. Today, we're playing on the map Hijacked, and this is a competitive gameplay. So, if you're into competitive, I hope that you enjoy this. I end up getting 51 kills on Hijacked Hardpoint, and um, this is playing with my Pro AM draft team. And I want to talk about that a little bit, and I want to talk about the event as well as moving into my new house. So, we got a couple of topics to go through today, and hopefully, I can fill this 10 minute video with them because 10 minutes is a long long time to talk but first of all <coughs> let's start with god damn dude I still have this cough I apologize but if I cough throughout this video every once in a while please don't hate me because I still have it I don't have my cold anymore but I still have the cough so I apologize but so moving into the new house has been great uh, I moved in today at around 8 o'clock I went to my friend's house after school until 8 o'clock and then I had to run to my grandparents house which is about 20 25 minutes away from the current house that I'm in locate in's location uh, which is my new house and uh, it's it's like 20 25 minutes and I had to transfer all of my com <laughs> oh my god all my computer stuff from their basement to my car to here and then I had to take it all out from my car and don't worry I'll do a setup video whenever I'm back from the Pro AM event, which is being held Saturday. It's only a one day event, um, so uh, I should have that up very recent. I mean, not recent, very, very quickly from when I get back. It should be like a day or two, I'm hoping. I'm going to take you through the new house, show you where everything is, show you what everything does. And basically, if you want to know what my setup looks like now, you can go back and watch my grandma's house um, setup video, and it's pretty much like 100%. Uh, thing for thing except the only difference is I switched my computer monitor over to the left side and I switched my gaming monitor over to the right just so I could focus on that and then I don't know it's just my preference I'd rather have it on the right and then my computer monitor on the left so I had a little bit of trouble uh, I forgot my ethernet cords at my grandparents and I thought that they were their ethernet cords but apparently they were ours so I was gonna have to go all the way back to get the ethernet cords and be able to play because my I'm hardwired into my modem and router so I have a better connection which is like a 7 millisecond ping 53 download and then like a 10 upload if you guys were wondering and if you want to know what the speed of your internet is go to speedtest.net and then test it out from there it's really simple you just hit start test and it'll tell you everything if you're curious about your internet you know if you're if you think that you're getting gypped out of kills just check it out you know it might be your internet Maybe you can, uh, sorry, try and get that shit upgraded, and then, you know, keep dominating kids like the usual. But yeah, so I had a little bit of difficulty, but now that I'm finally moved in, I'm enjoying it a lot. One of the problems for my old house that I really disliked, like, a lot, it made me, like, pretty much hate the house, was how hot my room would get. And I absolutely go on a fucking streak right here, guys. I just start bamboozling them, um, bamboozling them. That's what I meant to say. But, um... Basically, my room in my old house, the air conditioning unit, didn't, like, pump air into it for some reason, which didn't make sense to me. Um, it was literally, like, a sauna 24-7 in that room, and I don't understand why the air conditioning unit wouldn't go to that part of the house. And literally, with the TVs and my Xbox and my computer all on simultaneously, this made living in that room like living in Satan's butthole. Like, that's how hot it was 24-7. I would literally sit up there and sweat, and it was just not fun. Like, uh, uh, And then I had to play my grandparents, which was like 20 degrees below zero in their basement. So I finally found a nice balance. This room seems to be heated nicely, but it is only the first night that I've been here. So, you know, things could take a turn for the worse. Sorry for coughing again. God, I'm such a fuck, man. This sucks. But uh, things could take a turn for the worse. I hope not, you know. I can't remember wow. that far back. I was what living in that house for probably like three years, two, three years. Seriously, and I can't really remember back to the beginning of it whenever I first started living in it, if it actually was uh, cold whenever I first started you know, living there. And it's in the middle of winter, so it being hot as it is just doesn't make sense. It's just not logical. But now let me talk about the uh, Pro-Am event a little bit. So... There's been a couple of these before, but this is the first one of its kind. Like, the other ones, you would pick up amateurs that you knew. And basically, there are a lot of really good top AMs that live in the New Jersey area. For example, Embos, I don't know if I really consider him an AM anymore. BL Fire, 
uh, methods, like there's just a lot. Saint, uh, relax. There's a lot of top AMs that live in the New Jersey area, and pretty much teams were just building their rosters and making them god squads, pretty much. So I went in there with a pickup squad, last minute pickup, like literally the night before I left, and we just got absolutely trampled. I think we went 0 for 2 in our matches, and uh, that just wasn't fun. So now this time, what they did was they actually held like a draft. So it was like all 16 of the captains, which are pro captains, by the way. There's 16 pro captains, and there was a list of amateur players that said that they could go to the event. <coughs> Sorry. And then we had the option to pick from any of the AM, AM players on that list that we felt were reliable to show up and were also skilled and talented, and you had to you know, make that balance because not all the players were going to be there. Obviously, some of them were getting picked early. And there are still pros in the list to pick up. Um, a couple of them were Bobby. Uh, Fears was one of them. Uh, I'm not really sure who else. Those are the only two that come off the top of my head. BL Fire, I think, was another uh, pickup that could have been picked up. Methods I actually picked up for my team. And, yeah, so basically it was like a draft, and they all had us in a lobby, and we just went through, and then we had rounds. There were three rounds, and then you would get a pick each round and sometimes people get two picks in one round it was really it was set up really well so i can't complain about that and i'm happy with my team uh, going into it i have methods sender and sunrise um sunrise is really good at nj halos uh, if you have never heard of him he usually does really well at the nj halo tournaments and that's where he's really proven himself <clears throat> Sender is on CW, a top amateur team, and then Methods. I don't even know what the hell Methods is doing, but he's just, he's dirty. Um, if you've never seen him play, he's in my sub box if you want to check him out, actually. <clears throat> but yeah, <laughs> so this event is an all-day event on Saturday. So it's the day that you're going to be watching this video, obviously. But uh, it's an all-day event, and we're probably going to be there pretty late if we do end up uh, advancing to the final rounds. And I think it's double elimination, and there are 16 teams. Um... So it's going to be fun. I like double elimination tournaments so much more than single elimination tournaments, which is what Frag Cup is. So really looking forward to that. And I'm going to be able to see all my friends again. And that's really the best part about these events. I can really give two shits about the money that I win. And I think the first prize is $2,000 to $500 each. So it's not, you know, ridiculous amounts of money, but it's <laughs> it's a s s substantial amount of money for just going and playing for one day and having fun at the same time so i can't complain with that and um yeah so i usually go to these things it's about a three and a half hour drive three hour drive for me and um and you hear methods asking me how far i moved away from my old house i moved about two minutes away from my old house so i'm still really really close to it i literally moved like a neighborhood over so i'm not really too disappointed with that it's a dual plex <laughs> if you don't know what that is it's like a a dual townhouse but it's it's like a mansion but it's a dual townhouse so like my house is like a regular house but it's it's considered an apartment so it's pretty cool it's really luxurious uh, it's really big fits everything you know i have everything that i need yeah i'm with, i'm with my mom if you weren't uh sure about that and i'm sorry if my voice keeps going out like whenever i suck <coughs> like that <coughs> whenever i suck in air <coughs> oh my god i'm about to have a cough attack on my comments there but when I suck in air, I just cough, so I can't really take breaths or big breaths right now. I'm trying to keep it at a low for you guys so you don't have to listen to me dying on the freaking video. But yeah, so this event is taking place in Fort Lee, New Jersey. If you're from the area, uh, it's at a place called Local Battles. And if you hear me like doing that, it's because I'm about to cough and I'm trying to hold it back. But um, it's at Local Battles, and uh, that's that's a place in New Jersey. It's like a little land center, literally, and I don't know what the fuck happened there. I was so confused. But it's a little land center in Jersey, so if you want to come out and say what's up to me or any other, other pro players that you like, just make sure you come on out. And, uh, just look up Local Battles, New Jersey, and you'll be able to find the address. I'm not sure what it is off the top of my head, but I think there's <coughs> like 40... 30 or 40 spectator passes, and I really do apologize for coughing, guys. I That's just not professional at all. But um, there's like 30 or 40 uh, spectator passes for people, so if you get there early, you know, you can come in and watch us play. And uh, right here, I was going for my 50 bomb, but that's pretty much it on the tournament, guys. Uh, I hope that you guys come out if you're from New Jersey. You know, it's not that far of a drive. Jersey's obviously small. But uh, that's the end of the gameplay. This was a scrim with my team for the tournament. If you didn't tell, couldn't tell already, and I dropped 51 kills, which is pretty beast. So I hope you enjoyed this commentary, guys.
as always, have a good one. Uh, I hope that you, you know, tune into the event on the live stream. It'll be on Twitch.tv for you guys. So I hope that you tune in there, and I hope that you come out and support us. But as always, guys, thank you for watching this video. Make sure you leave it a comment, like, favorite, subscribe, do all that great stuff. And uh, as always, take it easy. Peace.